Rover Crafter, I wanted to do a video on basket bases. Now you've probably seen them on Facebook and wondered why, how, what are they? Where'd you get them from? Well, let's answer some of these questions first. This one in particular, I got off vikinglaser.co.uk. Any design that he doesn't have, drop him a message. He probably can do it for you. Don't know unless you ask. Um, he is UK based and he can ship to the US, but obviously import taxes, blah, de, blah, de, blah. You know the deal. But I'll pop his link in the description because that's where I got my base from. The next question is, what yarn do you use? Well, hooked on spaghetti, of course. T-shirt yarn. It's thicker, more durable. Um, not a little bit on the stretchy side. Not really a wool or anything, but it's sturdy and that does the job. So all we're going to do to get started is, I don't need to do a base. This is the base. Treat this like your last row of base when you're making a bag. And you're going to crochet into the end stitches, which are these holes. So to do that, I don't recommend doing a slip knot because it's a pain in the butt. I just recommend pulling it through. And before you ask, crochet hook size is eight millimeters. And even then I am gonna have to crochet very, very loosely. Um, the only reason why I'm using an eight is it's the only size that I've got that will fit through the holes, but it will do the job. Let's just start again with that because I actually want the name on the inside. So you're just going to pull the yarn up so you've got your hoop through here. You're going to work over that bit, so don't worry about that. And you're just going to single crochet as normal. US single, UK double. And, yep, that's all you're going to do into every single loop. And it will feel fiddly. You will lose where the hole is. Just work it loose. And you've got it. This isn't by any means a project for the weak minded. Because you're going to do this in every single hole around. I suppose you could also do knitting if you pulled it through every single stitch, which is doable. But as you've seen from the video at the front, this will be in waistcoat style and this will take me a few weeks to do. So I'm just gonna work my way all the way around and I'll see you guys at the end because this is gonna take a while and I'm guessing if you are new to doing crochet on a piece of wood, you're probably gonna buy one that's smaller. But every single hole around, you'll give it a base, protect the wood, and I'll catch you in a minute, guys. Once you've gone all the way around, as we have slowly done, that actually took longer than expected. Um, purely because of the size of it and the awkwardness, but the next few rounds are going to be easier. We're gonna be working in waistcoat stitch, where normally when you're crocheting, you go into the top V here. We're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna be working into the Vs down here and we are working in the round. So to the V in the center, you just go in, pull your yarn up. If you haven't done your stitches loose enough, you will get some tension. So you're just gonna keep working into each V all the way around. So remember you're not going into the top V like you normally would. So you're not working into the chainy bit. There's no increasing done here. We're just gonna work a straight up 
basket. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Again, this will take a while. I'm going to keep going and I will tell you how many rows I do to create this particular basket. You're basically going to go to the length that you need on whatever size board you are working on. T-shirt yarn is always fun to work with. You can also use rope yarn. There's lots of yarns that you can use that are stupidly thick. We're just going to keep going into that V and working it up. And yes, this is awkward. Right, I'll catch you guys when I've gone all the way around and you will see what this waistcoat stitch looks like. On the next round, you will be working into the same V there again, but it makes a stiffer material, circa, safer. So that way you've got your form of a basket. Catch you guys in a few rounds because this is just going to be repeating the same stitch over and over again. And when you see me do that, it's just because it's so tight. It is going to be tight no matter how loose you made it. You can also switch to a bigger hook at this point. I should probably mention that. Um which will help some of you out. And I'll catch you in a few rows, guys. Okay, every crafter, I am going to keep going with this. I have used one ball of yarn. I'm going to use about three balls of yarn, I believe, to get the height that I want. The height you want obviously is going to be quite deep if you are actually intending to use this for a baby. So keep going and I will catch you next week. See you on the craft side.